Hi guys, this is Paul with Tweak Town. We're back here at Flash Memory Summit 2014. Right now we have our distinguished guest, Dr. Simon Z. He just received the Lifetime Achievement Award here at the Flash Memory Summit for probably one of the most revolutionary inventions that has really changed and shaped the world that we, we live in today. He is the co-inventor of the floating gate. So, Dr. Uh, Dr. Simon, can you kind of tell us a little bit about when you made this discovery and how you came about it? Well, in the uh, early 1960s, all the computers and the computing system they use uh, a magnetic core memory mm -hmm. uh, as a non-modern memory. Mm -hmm. uh, my colleague, uh, Don Kang, and myself, we were in the semiconductor device laboratory of Bell Labs. And we thought maybe it's possible to use a semiconductor to replace the magnetic core. So that's what happened. Yeah. When you created this device, did you realize the significance of it? No, really not. We tried to replace magnetic core, but uh, my boss uh, did not agree. Oh, he didn't <laughs> he, know what he had. He did, didn't agree. So he urged me to back to work on bipolar transistors, not on the MOS business. Wow. Uh, so, <laughs> so you invented it in 1967, Seven, right? Yeah, that's right? And what year did it first become used? I mean, there, I know that they didn't know what they had. That's right. So. Well, actually, uh, four years later, four years, uh, four years later, a gentleman called uh, Frosch Benchakovsky from Intel. Mm -hmm. He developed an EEPROM, mainly based on the floating gate concept. Mm -hmm. And that device became useful uh, in 1983. Mm -hmm. when Nintendo uh, decided to use it for their game console. Oh, okay, so it the, started out with Nintendos. And that's right. Yeah, it can be used everywhere, which it is today. Yeah, that, that now, yeah. Then they moved into the PC boot-up system in 1984. Now it's everywhere. It's everywhere. We did some rough uh, napkin calculations, and we come up with there's over one pentillion <laughs> floating gates in use in the world. That is one with 21 zeros behind it. So <laughs> that's, that's pretty hard to wrap our mind right. around. So, so after you developed this and you designed it, you were with Bell for quite a while after that. Yeah, right? for 27 years. For 27 I, years. I retired in 1989. In 1989, and yeah. so at that point you left the, the States and you went back to Taiwan, I believe. That's right, because my parents were there and they, are quite, they were fragile. So I thought I would try to take them and then uh, teaching at the university there. So you started teaching at the university and you're still teaching there, right? I'm still teaching there for I'm, uh, 24 years. 24 years. Yeah, Long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they don't want to let you go. I mean, uh, they like to keep me there. Also, they give me a new project called the uh, MOOC, the mm -hmm. massive open online course on semiconductor device physics. Yeah. Oh, really? So yes. you can kind of expand now and that's teach right. more and get your that's message. That can be globally downloaded uh, from the internet. Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. And you know, of course, learning from the master, you co-invented it, that's so right. it has to be pretty special for people. I'm very impressed here today because I didn't see so many people. This is the largest conference I ever. Ravine. It's, yes, yeah, it, it's right. big. It's amazing. We started coming here about four or five years ago. And it used at to first be it was small, small yeah, and the, now it's huge. I, I talked to Tom. He said that at the beginning it's only about two, three hundred people. Yep. Now it's almost five thousand today. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. Well, Incredible. you know, yeah. SSDs is, yeah. you know, it's revolutionary. So uh, flash. Apparently it's, uh, apparently it's very important. Uh, yes. To, uh, I think it's. Uh, I'm glad it's useful. And, yep. Uh, it, the only advice I can give to young people <laughs> is don't overuse the entire smartphone because yep. it really damages the eyes. Yeah. It will create what uh, we call the cataract. Mm -hmm. It may cause uh, retina detachment and far-sightedness, all this problem because if you overuse it. Just because it's so bright? So small. Yeah. And it's a scanning and also uh, they emit uh, UV a little bit from the LED. So, all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Well, yeah. Don't we, use it. Over, overuse it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we appreciate you stopping by, and you Thank know, you. we're really happy to meet you. It's not Thank often you. you meet someone who has literally all altered the, <laughs> the design of every computer. I'm the only survival, the by the way. I'm the only survival of the major inventions. All the integrated uh, circuit guys, mm -hmm. Noise and uh, Kilby, mm -hmm. all the transistor guys, Barty, Sharpie, Brighton, they mm -hmm. all passed away, including my co-inventor, Don Khan. Oh, yeah. I'm the only survivor now. How, how old are you now? 78. 78. Well, you've got at least 20 or 30 more years. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I hope so. All right. All righty. Well, thanks for stopping by Thank the booth and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.